Okay, today I'm going to show you how to take a cheap smoke detector and turn it into a water level detector. So you could use this for, for a number of things. You could use it for uh, sewer backup. You could use it if your sump pump uh, stops working. If you've got a water heater that you suspect might be uh, going to blow soon and you want to make sure it doesn't destroy your basement and, let, and give you some warning, you can use it for that. But, you know, use your imagination for any kind of water level detection you need. This is by far the cheapest. So first of all, what you want to do is go out and buy yourself a cheap uh, smoke detector. This one's made by a company called KID. Uh, this was about 10 bucks. Uh, I think you can get them cheaper than that even. So what you want to do is you want to take this thing apart. But first of all, you want to look at where the test button is. Once you get it apart, have a look at the circuitry that's near that test button. So let's get this thing apart first and we'll show you the inside. We'll just undo a couple of the... Uh, the little tabs that are in here holding it together. So once you get it apart you can see the test buttons right here and there's the little fingers there. You can give it a push and we'll see. Yeah, that's it right there. The other one over here is the hush button. So next we want to take that circuit board off and if you look there's going to be a couple of little claws that hold that on there so we'll just undo those. where the test button is. You want to look underneath and that's where we're going to connect our wires to. So this is it right here. I'd suggest using a sharpie just so that you know you've got the right one. So that one there, you can see it has to go to this one right here and the other wire will put it right on it takes a couple of times to go back and forth to make sure you get the right one. Oops. I guess we could take the battery out, but that would be too easy. So it's this guy right here. So let's go ahead and we'll solder the wires onto there. So, uh, so the next thing you need is just get some skinny, skinny wire. It doesn't need to be uh, very big at all. And then we'll just go ahead and solder them right to the parts that we marked. And here's a close-up of the on-off switch that we've marked with the Sharpie. So you want to locate underneath the circuit board this end of this, of this piece right here. And then you can see that little skinny bar that's underneath there. That's where we want to solder the other wire on. So let's have a look underneath. So right there is the, the one end. And you can see that that's all one part of the circuit board, all four of these connections. So we soldered it to one of those. And the other one we could have picked right here or right here underneath that little skinny bar pin and we pick that one. Now once you have those connected you want to take your wires at the other end and you want to touch them to make sure that you've uh, made a good solder job. And we did. So now let's just go ahead and put this uh, circuit board back. And then once it's back together, give it one more test to make sure that's gone back together right. So next thing we want to do is we want to test to make sure it detects water. So let me show you what I've done here. I've taken the smoke detector and I've we've got the wire that we soldered on there and I've hooked it up to some bell wire to the black and yellow here. It goes up and into the box and there's about a hundred meters in there. And where it comes out to the end. I've just bared the wires there and we're going to try putting it in the water to see if it works. So the reason I'm showing you this is that you could basically put this in your house and you could run it, run the wire out to uh, another place that you want to detect where the water is going to be backing up and this would give you the alert right in the house right away or you could put it right at the source of where the water is as long as it's in your house and you could uh, you could hear it going off then that's not a problem at all but you can get inventive and you can uh, you can run the wires wherever you want uh, so that you've got instant detection so I think a lot of people out there are going to use this this is a cheap cheap way of detecting uh, water rise or water backup 
So this is where I use my alarm. I put it right here because um, I had a root ball in my sewer a few years back. So I've got this here in case it happens again. So I've got the wire running down here, going along the floor, and I just use some aluminum tape over top of that to stop anyone from uh, from tripping over it. And then just underneath here is where my clean out is for my sewer. And I drilled a hole through the uh, cap here and I ran the wire down there. So there you go. So I hope this has helped. And if you have any comments at all, just Put it in the comments down below and good luck with your project and we'll see you next time.